For those who are new to my ink journey, I am Mrs. Y, and those who are returning viewers, I want to say welcome back. With this week's video, 85 people have voted for this week's topic, and the results indicated a combined of 40% from Instagram and YouTube community have voted for the family unboxing. So I want to say thank you for all of you who have voted for this week's topic. I am so happy it got selected for this week's video. As you know, my husband's side of families are like a lot of Hermes they have always been actually so remember this year I am trying something new here on YouTube I would like to make my weekly video more relevant to your interest so if you would like to participate in my next video topic poll please be sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me on my Instagram at Mrs. Y journey I'll be posting my poll every Tuesday of each week I would love for you to participate and share with me what your interests are for each week so without further ado, let's get started with the family unboxing. So let's get started with, I'll just put these two aside first, but I'm going to start with shoes collection. So I'm going to do this small box and this is just a receipt. So this pair of shoes obviously is smaller and this is my mother-in-law's shoes that she picked. I don't know if you guys can guess what it is, but after she got this, I'm kind of, you know, interested. <laughs> Maybe I would get a pair as well or something similar. She got this Paris Lover. I'm gonna just to get another one. And this one is in black with palladium hardware. And this is in size 35 and a half. So, this is basically her true size. So I would say Lover, it's, you know, Hermes Lover, it's like, you know, you can probably buy it with your true size. After she tried it, like she was trying the 35 and a half and the 36, but 36 look a little bit too loose. She was afraid of like, it will stretch and stuff. And just so you know, this is in gold skin. So because my mother-in-law was concerned about like, would it get stretched? Would it be, you know, too loose in the future? And that's why she didn't go with the 36. And my essay told her that, you know, there actually are three different leather type, if I remember correctly. So this one, it's ghost skin. And then there's a calf skin and also a lamb skin. And he said, normally the lamb skin would actually get stretched out more than the others. But the black one is the only one that has the ghost skin option. So, and he said normally people will go with the ghost skin because it's just more snug. So this one's really nice, I think. So the price of this one is $1,100 in US dollars, okay? This is just for your reference. And of course, depending on your state, there will be tax and all. And now let's move forward with the next shoes and see which family member got this one? <laughs> so let's open it. Would it be my dream shoes? I don't know. But I think the bus is too big, you know? Maybe some of you already guessed like who this shoes belongs to. <laughs> so let's just open it. I don't think I'm gonna be happy opening this box, just so you know. <laughs> so with a shoe box this big, for those of you who have been following me, you guys know, this pair of shoes belongs to Mr. Y. <laughs> okay. And the reason why I said I'm not gonna be happy, let's look what he got. Yeah, another pair of shippery sandal in my, you know, most ideal color as well. One of them, my ideal color, neutral and gray. And then for those of you who know me, like I love gray. And this gray has a hinge of blue which is really nice and i think it's called grits arctic or something I'm, I'm gonna put that color down below and then for those of you who know how to pronounce it just let me know comment below so this is from what i know it's a new color that came out from Hermes. so mr y told me this is love at first sight and then actually you know what when he got it i was not there because and the reason why was 
it was the day that we pick up the SO. But then after I saw the SO, I'm like, I really have to go. You can shop all you want. <laughs> so he was basically shopping by himself. And as I arrive at my office, I keep on getting text messages. And I'm just like, what do you want? Because obviously I was not there shopping, right? So yeah, and he, he, he sent a picture of this pair of Tripri Sando. And then I was like, where's mine? <laughs> And you know, the essay just mentioned like, do I want to try the men's size of 39? But then I'm like, well, my regular size is 37 and a half and that's my true size. There's no way I can fit that size 39. So obviously I pass. I don't want to force myself you know, to wear something that's not fit completely. And for those of you who've seen Mr. Y's first unboxing on um, the Tripri sandal, so he actually got his true size 43 and a half, and it turns out to be a little bit smaller than usual. So he decided to get, um, well, I mean, this time he actually gets to try. So he got this size 44. So for men's, for him, it's half size larger that you should go for. There's a third shoes that I'm gonna unbox, but currently it's not with me. So I actually pre-filmed that one and because that pair of shoes belongs to my brother-in-law. Yeah, he was visiting at that time and we basically, you know, went to Hermes together, bring it to my essay, and then he picked up a pair of shoes that he always wanted. So I will insert that clip of video for you guys and while I'm explaining how nice that pair of shoes is. So right now you see that, you know, he's unboxing and all, and this is a pair of game slip on sleekers. And this one actually just came out this season and it looks really, really nice. And he's showing you that Kelly Buggles here. The only thing we wish is it was so black, but it looks really, really nice. Yes, he wore it once before he <laughs> decided to offer the unbox for me. And you look at the back of it, it's so detailed with all the H and also on the side. Yeah, this is the Kelly Buggle, it's beautiful. So now let's look at the size and he got a 41 and a half and I believe this is his true size as well to work. I don't think there's a problem either because this one is in black and it kind of looks like a loafer to me. Instead, the bottom, it has the sneaker rubbers underneath as a base. So that's why it's considered sneakers, I would say. But otherwise, I think this one can be where, you know, business cash. So now I'm going to insert some modeling picture. He was so nice and, you know, let me do like model pictures. I just feel like it's easier for you guys to know how to actually look. So you can decide this pair of shoes will fit your loved one, you know, because I think it's, you know, it will be a nice gift as well. And the cost of it is $1,000. $175. So now let's start with these two boxes. So I'm not sure if you guys could guess this, but let's start off with the small ones. So, yes. so this is obviously a silk scarf in size 90. And this is called costume. Okay. I mean, there's a longer name for it, but which is really nice. We, we thought this could be a nice decorated piece. So we are basically in the middle of waiting for an additional hanging system. So then we can put this at our dining room, which is figured this is a very colorful, but yet yeah, elegant piece. So, and it's silk, so that it actually gives you a different vibe. And then we are looking for another hanging system where we can put the 140 and also one right behind me as well. Finally, this piece, it's for myself. So I'm gonna open this, nothing big. This is not a, you know, big items or anything, but I do like it. And I've, I've been liking, you know, Hermes ready to wear it lately. This is called the Cano Micro T-shirt. And the fact that the reason why I picked this one, it's because of this cano. If you haven't seen, they actually have the swimwear design this year. It's 
also with this Kano icon on it. And originally I wanted the white one because I don't really have much white t-shirt. However, the only reason why I got this navy instead was because the white one actually looks a little bit transparent to me. So I decided to go off with the blue one instead. And if you ask me about the price and all, and this is $530 US, uh, of course, plus tax. And the reason why I've been liking Hermes t-shirt a lot, it's because of the quality of it. It's 100% cotton, but it's definitely a high quality cotton. It actually feels a little more stretch than usual. And the touch of it, it's a lot smoother than other cotton that you could get from other brands. So this is my third t-shirt from Hermes. And my first one I got last year, and this year I already got the second one. So I think I'm going a little crazy with their t-shirt, but you know what? They were very nice. So actually I have one more item. That item is pretty big, but that item is not for me either. So I'm gonna show you guys. It's a little bit too big, so then it wasn't on the table. But here you are, guys. So this is obviously, it's a jacket. This is the spring summer 2023 season, the Shandong Long Bell the Fest. And obviously it's a fest, so then it's sleeveless. And this is 100% cashmere. Okay, and this one obviously it's in size 36. There's a lot of Shandong design inside and the, the best part of this vest is the button. The, this button is in Shandong design as well. I'm actually eyeing on a jacket or a sweater that comes with a Shandong button. But so far, they just don't have the design that I wanted or, you know, the one that I asked, it's not available anymore. So, finger cross. And after seeing my mother-in-law wear this, it's so stunning. And I'm like, hmm, if you guys remember my previous videos about what I'm eyeing on, you know, partly was because of the button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so I am inserting a model picture of her, how she's gonna wear this, you know, how she's gonna style it. So I hope that would give you more ideas. If you are looking for a vest or you know that your boutique has one, maybe you should consider. I know there's a white one as well, but I think this one actually makes it even more interesting because the navy and the red, it's just you no know, pop, it pops, right? Like even though she was wearing like black inside, but it just looked really stunning. I think the day she tried it on, she was wearing like a light color inside and it still looks really, really nice. And the belt, obviously you can wear in the front and you can always wear at the back and the front, you don't have to button it, you know, like there's many ways of wearing this vest. So this is amazing. So this is actually my first time seeing, you know, Hermes garment bag when you buy a jacket or like, you know, a larger ticket ready to wear. Um, it will come with this really, really sturdy garment bag. It just looks very doable that you can travel with it. You know, sometimes you want to bring a jacket to the plane, you know, you can definitely bring this garment bag. Now I'm just gonna close it. So if you're wondering, the price of this piece is 5,350 US dollars, obviously plus tax. Oh, this is very interesting. I just noticed. So once you put it in, there's a snap button here. So I'm going to snap it. This makes it really easy to carry around. I've actually never seen a garment bag that has this, but maybe just me. Yep, that's it. Perfect. By doing like this, like not lowering not knowing this is Hermes, like, you know, maybe people won't stay with like that. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, so I have a few more things that I wanted to share with you guys. There are small things, but I think it's a good information for you guys as well. 
So I also got these beauty items from Hermes. And I'm gonna show you this one first. I was looking for this since last year, but then they were telling me that it's discontinued because this functioned and whatever reason. I, I don't know, maybe the quality issues. But anyways, <coughs> I got this travel brush that it just came back out. So it looks like this. So it's good for your face and cheek. So I felt like this is very easy to carry around. But the problem is, here's an interesting thing. He asked me, do I want like highlights or anything? Cause Hermes just came out some new beauty items and I'm like, I don't really use highlight. Okay, like I'm not good at, you know, doing all these advanced makeup techniques. So, and he's like, yeah, not a lot of people could. A lot of people don't do highlights, but what about this? like blush, like this mineral powder, because basically it's a blush that comes with the highlight at the same time. So that as you apply it, you got everything. So I was like, you know what? Let's just give it a try. So I'm gonna show you this because he actually opened it and showed me. So this, uh, I just picked this one because it's lighter pink and it's more neutral color. And then you see the white, like I guess the highlight, it's more of the lightest side. So then he told me that you can just, you know, go around and just put it all over your face and you'll be good. I was like, oh, okay. So I'm going to try this. And why do I say there's a problem <laughs> or what information am I about to tell you? Is that when you buy this, it actually comes with a brush. I didn't know until like I'm at the cashier about to pay. And then he was like, oh, just so you know, this comes with a brush too. And I'm like, what? But then I was like, oh, I don't think I should tell him I don't want to travel brush anymore. <laughs> so I, I didn't know. And I look at it like this is a smaller brush and this looks bigger, but let's open it and see. And obviously, you know, this is a complimentary brush so that it doesn't come with a case like this. Okay. So it's only have a paper wrap. Okay. You guys tell me. <laughs> Actually, the complimentary one looks bigger, taller than the small one. Wait, did I mix them up? I don't know, but that's really how it looks like. And then I'm just like, well, I mean, the shape, it's a little bit different. For those of you who know makeup, maybe you could, you know, differentiate better, but you know, I'm more like a mediocre. <laughs> so yeah, if I knew, maybe I wouldn't get a travel one. Okay, so for those who are like debating whether or not um, to get this and the travel brush, I can tell you, you probably don't need a travel brush, just get this. It will come with a brush, okay? You can have so many usage of it. So now I'm just like, well, you know what? Since I have two, I'm just gonna carry two when I travel. So just so you know, the color that I pick, it's called Rose Atacama. And if you wanna know more, this is just for your reference. The color number is 01. So yeah, I cannot wait to try this and maybe I can give you guys some feedback. I do have a few Hermes makeup items now. The only thing that I am waiting for Hermes to come out is eyeshadow, okay? Because I don't think I will get their foundation because so far the one that I use, I think the coverage is better. Like Hermes foundations actually tends to be a little more transparent. It's not, doesn't have great coverage. At least for me, I don't feel like there's a great coverage. Um, it's more natural. So, you know, I think I'll be more interested when I don't know when they will come out, but I'm sure they will in the future, probably with the eyeshadow, then I think I will try that, okay? The best thing about their beauty is their nail polish. That's all I wanted to say.
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's family unboxing video. I'm so glad that, you know, my family loves Hermes just as much as I do. I mean, technically I was referred by Mr. Y, so now you guys know why. So if you guys have any comments or if you like today's video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and make sure you comment below and let us know which item you are eyeing on at the same time or which item you have or which item should we also get. Don't be afraid. Just give all your comments to us or DM me on my Instagram. Mrs. Y X Journey. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channels, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you won't miss any of my future videos. And remember, every Tuesday I will be putting a topic poll. And so make sure you follow me on my Instagram. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.